Okay guys, one of the things that I see a lot from shooters who are having feeding issues uh, on their bolt action rifles, typically using the metal mag, is you've got some pivot on the, uh, on the round that's up in the feed lips of the magazine body. So the first thing I check whenever I see this condition is what I'll do is I'm gonna put my fingers on the front and the back of the brass and I'm gonna see if there's any pivot. All right, so if you see here, you see how it's pivoting back down like that? All right, that is, that, uh, this, this mag right here in any rifle is gonna cause feeding issues. And if you kind of look at the back of it, you can kind of see how it's wider in the back. All right, and so typically what you want is you want around 400 thousandths in the front and the back of the feed lips. You want them to be even so that when that uh, the diameter of that brass goes up into the feed lips, it locks up in there. And you can actually kind of see a little bit of a gap right in the back right there. This That would cause a problem, getting that kind of tilt. You can kind of see, like as I push down in the back, you can see that gap that's developing where you see the pivot point in the front. And you'll get conditions where like the, the bolt will come forward, it'll actually skip over the back of the round and it'll pinch the, you know, the round up against the feed ramp, all kind of problems. So you want to correct that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out and measure this. All right, so I've got 416 in the front, 425 in the back. All right, that's a problem. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my little feed lip adjustment tool here. And I'm going to I'm going to actually bend all of it in just a little. I want it to be right around 400 thousandths. All right. I'm going to measure it. Four oh one. 402, perfect, I got lucky on that one. Normally it takes more than one time to get it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple rounds in the magazine. All right, so now, as you can see, when I'm pushing up and down on the front of the back of that magazine, I'm not getting that tilt that I got before. And you can kind of see how well that feed lips and that round are kind of locked up against each other all along that seam right there. All right, so if you ever had any feed lip issues, you know, feeding problems with your metal mags and any kind of bolt action rifle, uh, that's what you want to check. You want pretty much want the same dimension in the front and the back. Start out around 400 thousandths. Uh, you can make adjustments to that number if you need the round to be sitting up further for the bolt to grab the back of it, depending on what kind of bolt uh, and action and bolt you have and what cartridge you're using and the kind of magazines. But 400 thousandths typically on Accuracy International and Accurate Mags is pretty much where you want to be at. Anyway, thanks for watching.